Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're showing you guys five ways that you can free up storage in Windows 11. Before we get started with this video, if you guys are interested in purchasing Windows 10, Windows 11, Microsoft Office, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, we're gonna start with Storage Sense, and this is a feature of Windows 11 that's going to help us to keep on top of removing unused or unwanted files. Let's hit the Windows key and we'll go to our settings. Here we can go to System, let's click Storage, and now we can click into something called Storage Sense. All right, so from here, we can see that we have automatic user content cleanup already turned on. If you have this off, consider turning this on. As we can see, we removed 81 gigabytes of space last month. Now basically here's what this does. So it's gonna run every week and it's going to delete files that are in my recycle bin if they've been there for more than a day. And then it's also going to delete files in my downloads folder if they haven't been opened for more than a day. Now I've configured this based on what works best for me. If you're working with sensitive data or critical data, be sure to set this up in a way that you're not going to lose these files forever. Basically what I do is I have documents that come into my downloads folder. A lot of these I just need temporarily. Some of them I need permanently and I'll move them to a different folder if that's the case. All right guys, so for method number two, we're gonna be using something called disk cleanup. We can simply search that from our start menu and let's press enter. If you have multiple drives, select the drive that you want to clean up. I'm gonna do the C drive, which is my local drive. Now, this is gonna give us a breakdown of different temporary or program files that are no longer needed. And in some cases, this may be taking up a lot of space. As we can see, I'm only gonna gain a few hundred megabytes. And so for me, this isn't worth it right now, but if these are well into the gigabytes, you can select these and hit clean up system file. So let's hit that. And that's an easy way to go ahead and free up some space. And our next tip is to uninstall unused applications. Let's do Windows key and I together. And I'm gonna click into apps. Let's click installed apps. If you have a lot of apps that are sitting around and let's say you haven't used them in a long time, as you can see, it can quickly add up in terms of how much space it's consuming. So the recommendation here is just to make sure that if you're not using certain applications or video games, going in and removing those and deleting them. And maybe if you decide you need them again, you can reinstall. All right, guys, the next tip is to move your files. And so I'll show you guys a little bit about how I do this. All right, so what I do is I have this entire drive, which is almost four terabytes. And this is my working drive. And so basically I have uh, video projects on here that I edit. It's basically just a lot of footage, right? So for example, if I click on any project in here, it's gonna be a huge amount of space that it's consuming, 400 gigabytes. So what I do is once I'm complete with this project, or let's say I don't have to access this project for a long time, I'm simply gonna plug in an external hard drive that I have, and I'm gonna copy it to that. And then once it's copied to that, I actually make two copies of it. And then I go ahead and delete this from my computer drive. So this is kind of a good system to have. For example, if you work with files for a, a you know a short period of time and then you're not going to access them for a long time just go ahead and move them to an external drive and you can return to those later should you need them all right guys and the last suggestion we have is to modify save locations so changing where new content is saved is going to be helpful in reducing your overall local storage consumption for example saving your office documents to OneDrive, so doing some kind of cloud storage like that or instead of saving your photos to your photos app, maybe you put those in a different folder and then you offload those to, again, some sort of external drive or to the cloud. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. If you have any ideas of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most subscriber video requests get made into actual videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.